special and successful Asian trip where we launched a uh, phone in Tokyo and we ended up doing 8,000 Poneros, 8,000 access points ordered. NTT, the largest telco in Japan, has 7,000, so it looks like we will be very soon larger than them in terms of access points in a Wi Fi network. And uh, and after Hong Kong, where we had a wonderful conference at the IBU, uh, where we said, I told everyone that they should just go out and build their own phone company. And uh, an analyst from Ovum wrongly said that the operators were going to shut us off. He's an analyst, but he doesn't understand how much more money the operators make with us. Uh, higher ARPU, lower churn, revenue share. And in Asia, of course, we, where people move very quickly, we already have many operator partners like Excite, Sydney, CNS. Um, but after all that, after that big success in Asia, I come back to Europe where I live and Paris where I don't live but I have a home because my wife is French and we come here a lot and uh, and well I just I just love it here you know I just love it here as much as I am mean, so impressed with Asia the speed the progress and how quick phone is growing and in Europe it's growing too we're still larger than Asia but probably soon the Asians will, will be more, will have more Foneros in Asia. And probably soon the Asians will have more of everything because they're hardworking studios like my friend Yatsu who at the age of two sends his child to learn Mandarin. They're ambitious, they're driven, they're hardworking. But there's something we have in Europe that is creativity and that you don't teach I think that you learn walking down the street listening to some people play music and uh, dreaming I wonder if there is a time allowance for daydreaming in that school that two-year-olds learn Mandarin because I think daydreaming is what we do at fun a lot and daydreaming is what all the creative companies do they just dream and hope and work and yes work is part of it and yes I am full of admiration of how hard the Asians work but Europe is my adopted home after growing up in Argentina and I think I'm staying here but I'll come back to Asia every two months and I'll certainly enjoy all the wonderful people I met there and the great things that are happening at fun and with anything else because the Asians are kicking ass and in certain levels they'll be number one in the next 20 years in almost every category including GDP when China beats America.